dear all namaste today i shall be discussing on cotter's classification of dns cotter's line and cotter's test in relation to deviated nature septum you know dns is very common condition and for surgical purpose dns can be classified as simple obstructed and impacted as per cotter's classification in simple dns the dns is not causing any problem to the patient and it is usually seen on clinical examination when the patient comes to you with common cold or due to throat pain and other conditions if you look on the nose there will be dns and that is not causing any problem for the patient the second one is obstructed dns in this condition dns causes nasal obstruction but that opens with use of decongestant drops or if you apply decongestant for some time then the obstruction is relieved this is called obstructed dns so this also may require surgery but it's not compulsory for the patient to undergo surgery patient can come to doctor if they have nasal obstruction during common cold impacted dns is defined as dns that is causing nasal obstruction that does not open even with the use of decongestant so this condition is one of the indications for surgery either septoplasty or smr surgery this is all about cotter's classification of dns now let's move towards cotter's line cotter's line gives an idea of doing either septoplasty or smr surgery cotter's line is an imaginary line drawn from the frontal nasal spine to the maxillary nasal spine a to b here deviations anterior to it can be corrected by septoplasty alone and deviations which are posterior to it can be corrected by either smr or by septoplasty surgery because when the deviation is towards the interior part of nose we don't do smr surgery that may lead to complications either sternose deformity or superative deformity or pulmonary retraction so we do septoplasty alone when the patient is having anterior deviation next is cotter's test or cotter's maneuver this test is performed to determine if the most significant site of nasal obstruction is at the bulb or further inside the nasal cavity the cheek on the side to be evaluated is gently pulled laterally with one two two fingers if the patient feels better then we know that the external nasal bulb is affected and we have to do surgery to open the external nasal bulb or the dns is causing problem on the anterior nasal bulb and this bulb needs to be opened thank you this is all regarding cotter's classification of dns cotter's line and cotter test in relation to the nasal septum This is an important bio question. Thank you. Thank you so much.